and we left off on get status. So with get status, you can see that we have other uncommitted files. We are not going to commit them. So we are going to do remove of those files. So rm index.html, rm scripts.js, rm styles.css. And we are going to list them and we have file.txt. So what we are going to do is we are going to open up file.txt and explore again. And we are going to edit this. We are updating the text. And we will hit file, save, and we will hit get status again and it will show that we have modified text. So what we are going to do is we are going to do git add file.txt again, git commit m manually changed the text. And it shows our commit. So what we are going to do is we are going to be able to see a history of our changes when we hit get log. And it will show that we did this and it will also show author name and email. And we will change that in a little bit. We could also do this. So we are going to copy and paste this, the original one. Copy, and we are going to do git show and look deeper into this first commit. Paste. And it shows you more about our first commit. And when this gets cluttered, we can clear. So to look at the username and email, you can do git config global list. And it shows your username and user email. And to update this, we do git config global user that name. And I am just going to change this to capital letters again. And to look at it again, you do this. Oh, to see previous commands, you can just scroll up. Scroll up and down with the arrow keys. So we are going to do git config global list. And it will show you that it's changed. And we will do that for the email git config global user.email and put the new email into the quotes. So we'll do, I'm just gonna do it in all caps. And we are gonna scroll up with the arrow keys and see if it was changed. 